Welcome back. We're here with Chris Garnier from Leeward Community College's Culinary Arts Program. Welcome. Aloha, thank you. And also culinary student, Raven. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Now, you guys have this big event coming up up there at yes, Leeward Community do. College. Tell us all about it and how people can get involved. Oh, so it's our annual fundraiser. Uh, we're going to serve about 800 guests that we're shooting for uh, with 12 phenomenal chefs from around the island. Uh, we have John Masbar from Feast, Roy Yamaguchi, Shade and Sato from Holly Kalani, Ronnie from Tiki's. And we're just going to um, sell it out, music, fun, night under the stars, and uh, we're serving our dish here today, Hawaiian kabachi. And it's coming up soon. When's the date? May 6, 2020. And it's the first time in a few years. 2019, oh. so we want to tell our community that we're back. That's mm -hmm. going to be great news to everybody out there, and you can st and people can still get tickets. Yes. There's room. Yes, I have yes. room at the table, mm -hmm. so to speak. All right, how does it feel, Raven, to be part of such a special event, especially since it's been on pause for a few years? Yeah, so I joined the culinary program back in 2021, so I wasn't here for the last time it was hosted. So mm -hmm. for it being my first time, I'm very scared, nervous, but at the same time, I'm also excited. I'm nervous because, like I said, my first time, so. Am I mentally and physically prepared? How much work is it gonna to take to host 800 people? Mm -hmm. But I'm also excited because of the experience and the skills that we would not have gotten otherwise. And I'm also excited for the opportunities and the opportunity to work with the amazing chefs that are coming in. Collaborate. That oh, that's awesome. true, right? That's and, awesome, Raven. and Raven, I, do, I must say, it's just so refreshing to hear you know your level of commitment and the thoughtfulness that you're putting into your craft and your career. Mm. So tell us about this delicious dish. This is just one of many folks will be able to taste out there. Okay. What is it? Uh, right now, Raven's going to start planting this up here. It's our Hawaiian kompachi. Uh, it's grown on the Kona coast, and we have some Hawaiian, uh, Big Island Hearts of Palm, Kahukusi asparagus, uh, some Kahuku Ogo, and we're actually, we have our uh, ag, our ag um, course at Leeward, which is supplying our harvest vegetables, so cherry tomatoes, mm -hmm, and then also microgreens. So ag course, tell me a little bit more about that as he picks all these fresh ingredients. This is within your culinary program within, as an ag course. So we want to do like an interdisciplinary, and uh, we've been working with the ag department, uh, aquaculture department as well, uh, biology, and they have a farm, so we're trying to do a, Trying to establish a farm to table and utilize our contemporary cuisine course. Well, that's that we more than lunch. just cooking school mm -hmm. in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. right? You're teaching how to bring from the ocean, from the ground. Yes, yes. Wow. And which of the courses do you teach there? I teach uh, contemporary cuisine. Okay. So it's a collaboration course with our dining room operations. And for eight weeks, the students serve. Okay. Eight weeks, they cook in the back with me. Live lunch service, reservations, everything, open table. They learn all that. And then eight weeks, and they flip. So to get the whole spectrum. That's good. So you're not, nobody's growing up in this program thinking, I'm only back of the house. Right, I'm only front of the right, house. Right, right, right. Teamwork. Yeah, yeah, we teach teamwork. Teamwork yes. makes the dream work. Yes, yes. All right. So, so many of these things, you're keeping it local, you're mm -hmm. keeping it fresh. Besides what we're looking at here, what other kind of things might be served at this dinner? Oh, my gosh. We have, uh, you know, we can go to the website. We'll have all the chef's mm -hmm. dishes there. Um, there's things from, like, uh, dry-aged swordfish. There is A5 Wagyu on the menu. Uh, there's, oh. Andrew Lay, Pig and Lady, Shave Ice Station. Oh, oh. my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Yes, on the Ray. Yeah. Man, people have got to come hungry for <laughs> yes, this one yes. on that day, too. How many students are in your program about? Now? Right now, we have about close to 100. Yeah, with, with their associates. They're going for their associates in applied science degree. I think mm -hmm. the restaurant industry out there is going to say, oh, thank you for yes, this. There's yeah. so many great people who are needed in our yes. industry and to keep it local mm -hmm. and to come out through that program. How long do uh, does the program go? Uh, we have uh, about on average about two to two and a half years. Okay. Uh, let's see, tuition, books, uh, skills, you know, their, their cutting skills or their knife bag, close to maybe about ten thousand dollars when you're done what an affordable mm -hmm. and productive degree yes. and you come out and there's no shortage of great jobs yes. out there in our yes. restaurants to do this mm -hmm. well what a wonderful thing to see anything else you want to tell people out there we'll put up a link on our website so you can go on check khon2.com to get tickets we'll link it right back to yes. you anything else you want people to know oh just uh we're back we're back and we're ready to uh ready for the community to support us and we're ready to support our community well, that's thank just you, wonderful. Thank you so All much, right, Chris and you. Raven. It looks delicious. And we'll send it back to you.